Our whole world is digital. Everything that informs and shapes our daily lives, photos, news, e-commerce, everything now boils down to a bunch of ones and zeros. And that data has to exist somewhere. And the amount of data is exploding. If you look at all the digital data that existed in 2009 and put it on DVDs, you'd have to stack them stretching from the Earth to the Moon and back again. That stack adds up to 800 exabytes of data, which is a number 800 with 18 zeros after it. That's a crazy amount of data. And it's just a tiny fraction of the digital data that will exist in the next 10 years. So, you know, this massive amount of data, which continues to grow uh, non-linearly, is gonna create a series of very significant problems. I mean, you have to be able to store that data, you have to be able to move that data, you have to be able to protect that data, and you have to be able to have access to that data around the world. And that means you're gonna have problems with power, performance, and cost. Hi, I'm David Tui, General Manager of the Storage Group at Intel. And that's where Intel technology is truly revolutionary. Our cutting edge storage technologies are built right into our Xeon processors. And we're helping manufacturers save power on the motherboard while delivering higher performance and better data protection. And manufacturers are increasingly choosing Intel Silicon for their storage systems. Everything from massive enterprise systems to appliances. So what's really exciting is Oracle just switched their Oracle Sun unified storage platform, their entire product line, over to Intel. In fact, by switching to Intel, Oracle's unified storage systems have become these super dense powerhouse storage machines. Oracle's internal benchmarks show much greater performance and better power management than their previous generation. Digital data is vital to our economy, it's precious to our families and our way of life. It's how everything around us works. So whether you're taking a three megabyte picture of your child, or 35 zettabytes of global aggregated information, it's really important to find solutions that take care of that data. Solutions that preserve not only the data, but the continuous access to it. Our chips are enabling storage like you've never seen before, the kind of storage you're gonna need to handle all the data coming our way. The world needs storage, and Intel is going to be a key part of it.